All right, welcome to Start Building Me, my nightly training session to convince you to exercise, folks. Mandatory is what exercise is. You should be doing a little bit every day. In some shape or form, I was reading this week or listening to a podcast, I believe, about how much energy people burn like me who just fidget. So really, it doesn't take that much to burn energy and there is really no excuse for not doing it, folks. So that's what I'm here for on a nightly basis, at least Monday to Friday, to get you up off the couch to stand up and move, folks. That is the aim of the game. You really have to move. Uh, your biochemistry doesn't work properly if you don't move. There's really no cheat in it. You cannot buy it. You cannot hack it. There's nothing that you can do about this with exercise. Jazz in the house. Good to see you. I was just making a note to do something that I forgot what I was doing. Aha, uh -huh. I've got to do my weekly rebuild video. I'm still on a break myself, folks, for damaging myself, which is why I do this rebuild video series to prove to you folks that even somebody like me who has trained their entire life can go for broke and do damage in which, uh, in my case, I've done damage to my tendons. So I need to take it a little bit easier and rebuild videos, or video rather. And deodorant, folks, is on my list as well. That is disgusting. Anyway, put that back down there. Let's get cracking in and out. As always, shake stuff out to start with. <clears throat> that is all part of the movement. Hope you guys had a great week and wherever you are in the world, whether you're here on the east coast of Australia in the evening and just winding down for the night, watching at this bitterly at work on the west coast or in the morning in Europe. Roughly 9 o'clock in the UK, 10 o'clock in Germany if you're not at school or out on holidays, Easter coming up soon, whatever it may be, folks. Shake stuff out. Shake your blood like the ProBot song is the Dr Dave Grohl written song with Lemmy Kilmister. The late Lemmy Kilmister, R.I.P. from Murderhead. Shake your blood, folks. It's all part of it. I've done plenty today, but I'm still here anyway for 10 or 15 minutes, as always, to say good day to my friends more than anything, but to encourage them to shake their blood as well. So let's walk and talk. What is it, folks? It's called a squat, also known as exercise. So you're sitting back into your heels, the weight's going back towards your butt like a slingshot. I think, is that clipping my mic? Not too bad, we can live with that. And forget the numbers, folks. It's not about the numbers. It's just about pumping the blood through your muscles. Through your muscles, ends up flowing through your cardiovascular system, out through your arteries, back in through your brains, going through your liver, your kidney, your brains, reoxygenating through your lungs, folks. This is stuff that is very simple to me, very basic anatomy, but I guess it really isn't so straightforward to a lot of people. I used to be thinking, you're all lazy sods and you should know this. Anybody with the internet should know this, but everybody has different priorities. And so I am a lot more tolerant now. I'm not. <laughs> I am slightly more tolerant now. Anyway. So look, folks, just be mindful of it. If you do this stuff, you can improve the quality of your life. If you don't do it, you will regret it in the end. It really is that simple. Everybody thinks that they're free of the system. As you get older, stuff starts breaking. You'll start getting chronic illnesses, illnesses, illness eyes, illnesses, of course, and start getting problems. So I'm just gonna bust out a few squats, bust out a few push-ups, and then get back to whatever it is that I was doing, which was reading up a little bit on organic chemistry. Bit of chemistry about water, never goes astray. I was going to do some weights, but I might not bother. Might watch some repeats of the Premier League, and sorry in advance for yawning, but I've been up early. My young whippersnapper dog thought it would be a good idea to jump up on the bed and wake me up early. Anyway, one, two, three, four, 
five, shake it out, whatever you've got. Maybe do some arm circles, all good things too. Pump the blood through your body, folks. Get everything working. The whole problem that people have in their body in the end is we're born like this in the fetal position. And without using your body, folks, you'll end up being like that. You see people, old people walking up in the shops that are looking like that. It's just because they haven't used their body properly. Um, it could be some sort of condition, a chronic condition that they've developed as a result of not exercising. But as I always say, what came first, the condition or the lack of exercise? I think you know the answer to that, folks. It's harsh but true, firm but fair, in and out. Uh, I got too much sun today, as always, folks. Maybe inhale it slightly too much chlorine. Lost balance in water. Anyway, one, two, three, four, five, and shake it out once again. Take it easy, six minutes on, another four minutes of squats. Get the blood pumping around. My heart rate is up at 84 from a rest in 50 to 60, showing that it is nearly doubled, folks, which is proving the point that exercise is doing two things. Raising your heart rate up from its resting rate. Get your heart turning over means it's going to be pumping more blood, meaning you need to oxygenate that blood. All good things. And, of course, other than raising your heart rate, it is raising your blood pressure. Pumping your blood harder through your vessels. Stretching your blood vessels open, which in turn gives them more elasticity, which is a good thing, and also pumps more blood in. Increases the stroke weight. It's like thinking of a rowing. The more stroke weight has, the more force you've got, the further you're going to go. It's the same with your heart. The harder your heart beats, the further that blood's going to go, the more efficient your heart works. So that's what we're working on, folks. We're going to jiggle this around a little bit. And it's cool. Like I said, I had my cousins here at the weekend, or cousin rather, and his special lady friend, and they exercise. Everybody does something, or not everybody, but a lot of people do something over the course of the day, gets their blood pumping, and it has that feel-good factor associated with it as well, you know? And that's one of the most important parts of exercise, folks, is that you can give yourself a your pat on the back afterwards, for doing something. It's an accomplishment. Uh, sitting down and look, even here, like I said, I don't need your engagement. My point is, is to get the engagement for people who might just browse across this channel while strutting past Facebook, Twitch or YouTube and get the message to get the hell outside. Get outside and walk. Go join a team. Go play a sport. Go to the gym, whatever it is that you want to do, that is what you need to do in life. You need to exercise, folks. There's so many people that whinge about being overweight, having anxiety, being depressed, and guess what? They don't exercise. It is the most important factor to reduce your weight, your anxiety levels, and your depression by exercising. Better than any pharmaceutical drug, Better than any counseling session, any psychiatrist session. And guess how I know this, folks? Because I've tried it all for over two decades now. That little ginger dingo dog is losing his mind at something. Probably something running past the house. In any case, another 30 seconds on the clock. Do a few squats. I might do another 10 anyway to get my blood pumping. Help my knees a little bit across. Do some hip circles in the interim before doing some push-ups. And then get back to what I was doing, which is hustling, folks. I love a good hustle, whether it's trading or planning uh, ideas for my business on Townsville and building, making dog collars out of crocodile leather. 
And of course, start building me doing stuff, stickers, magnets, bits and pieces. Stay tuned for that. Anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see where my heart rate goes up to with that. Up to 88, I can live with that. Let's do some push-ups and get out of here, folks. And give yourself a pat on the back for doing some training on Monday. That's all it takes. 10 minutes, mainly of me talking, pumping the blood through your posterior chain, through your quadriceps, your hamstrings, your uh, calf muscles. And back to Dave's. Start building me patented crotch sham as suggested. I always like to start here on my knees, lean back a little bit, stretch out my quadriceps. Feels good after a day of using them, squatting down all a day. Give them a bit of a stretch after rumbling with the dogs. Now, as I always say, if you don't go to the YouTube Start Building Me channel and look at my dodgy video to explain how to do push-ups, I'll always explain it quickly now. Spread your fingers when you're doing a push-up. Keep your legs together. Tense your butt, tense your feet, look up and breathe. You can use whatever cadence, AKA whatever rhythm you prefer. You don't have to breathe every single time. But tensing your butt really helps. Take a load off, do them off your knees if you find that easier. For me, I actually find it easier to keep core stability and just do strict push-ups. But if you're just starting out, you might want to do them off your knees like that. And never forget to breathe. With my cousins being here, I've been eating duck, I've been eating fish. I've been eating donuts, junk food, pancakes, everything. So I've got to repent, but admittedly my tendons are feeling a little bit better. So maybe just a bit of junk food and kicking back, went over to Magnetic Island, had a bit of a swim, very nice Magnetic Island up here in tropical far north Queensland. Funnily enough, you have to sell it to people, but as I always say folks, it's terrible up in far north Queensland. Don't come up here. We don't need any more people. We're full, unfortunately. Absolutely filled to the brim. No more people allowed up here, so. And oh yeah, don't chicken wing your arms out. So a lot of people, they'll have really wide arms and have their arms out that, like that I'd call chicken winging. What you're supposed to do is have your arms closer to your body using your tricep, this big muscle at the back of your arm, tricep being three heads there, like triceratops, is it Latin? I'm not sure, nor do I care, but short muscle, hard damage, and as a result, you're best off keeping your arms closer, shoulder width, then out here, you might be able to do initially more because as you can see, the distance traveled from a push up this way is far, far less than if you have your arms further in. The range of motion means you're pushing yourself further and exerting more energy. But as I always say, your triceps are very strong, short muscles, very hard to damage. I've heard of a lot of people damaging even pecs, their chest, but specifically their shoulders. It's pretty hard to damage your tricep. I've never personally damaged my tricep. I'm sure people have. I'm not sure if it's from push-ups. I highly doubt it. Um, so, as I said, the US military spent Millions and millions of dollars figuring out the most efficient way to do a push-up and this is what it is. Spread your fingers, line it up with the bottom of your chest. Look up, 
feet together, tense your butt, breathe in, breathe out. Now you don't have to do it a cycle like that every time. You could breathe in for instance, do a few, and again, the number becomes arbitrary folks. It's never going to get to this point. Can I damage your tricep? You can absolutely try Omni Hug. I would recommend not, and I am quite certain you will not. Young Buck, I think the whole point is, is that the numbers of these things are arbitrary. All you're trying to do is be able to comfortably do this from time to time and kick back, have a breather, <laughs> you young buck. Yes, well, don't make fun of my, 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 my st 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 stuttering ways. I've got TBI, as it is known. It is known as traumatic brain injury. Potentially CTE, AKA chronic traumatic encephalopathy. Makes your brain look like a rotten old walnut, that dog. Okay. Young with a snapper. Breathe in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And have a breath. Nah, not angry. Ah. Uh, it's just, somebody's at the door. Go away. People should know by now. Past seven o'clock. Forget it. Forget it. D Dave in the start building me ham. Uh, headquarters answering his door past seven o'clock. People are losing their mind. I'm just going to go here, have a shower, go to bed. <laughs> Not going to be answering the door, that's for sure. But I am going to be doing more push-ups because, folks, if you cannot do this against gravity, I won't say you've got a serious problem, but you've got a lot of practice to be able to do this. Whether it's squats like I was showing earlier or push-ups, these are two really fundamental things that you really have to do to consider uh, being, well, rather being considered having a good baseline level of health. If you cannot support your body weight under gravity, I consider that a problem. I think a lot of people, personal trainers, sports teams, athletes, it is a problem if you cannot support your body weight under gravity. Uh, over the last 100 years, as I always say, industrialization has made people think for some reason that it is not important to exercise and diet. I put it to you that your mental health depends on it. You will get anxiety, you will get depression, you will get chronic injuries if you do not do this. Now you can ignore this advice or think I'm wrong and uh, be angry and be uh, get your heckles up and resist it. <laughs> but uh, as I always say here on Start Building Me as well, it doesn't matter if you agree or not. A fact is a fact. People wouldn't exercise, folks. There wouldn't be millions and millions and billions of dollars in science if this stuff was not worth doing. It is worth doing. And it's really simple. And that's why I'm always just trying to show you the simplest way to do it. As always, like I said, you could do them off your knees. You can just dip into them like this. And if you come here... And listen to my autistic screeching from time to time by signing up. You will most definitely find that you do gain, get gains, folks, and it will improve your life. Even with busted shoulders, start building me, got me able to do strict push-ups. There you go. You know, like, respect our sanity. It's good to know that, you know, like, it's just consistency. Start in slow. And that's why I'm the best teacher, folks. I'm not going to be like, 
You've got to be jacked, man. You've got to be able to do 50 in a row, else it's pointless. Whilst maintaining 5% body fat. It's not like that. And my point is very, very non-aggressive in the sense that I will only be here for 15, 20 minutes and that's my whole point, folks. 15 or 20 minutes and not every day, just if you happen to be here on Twitch, YouTube or Facebook and you just want to get a quick workout out of the way and get back to your homework, get back to your work, go have dinner, go to the pub, have beers, whatever it is. Just get your blood, blood pumping, pat yourself on the back and go off and do whatever you want to do. It doesn't have to be every night. It can be once a week and you can work up to doing it every night. Or you can just get into the habit of saying, hey, I don't need to listen to this goon. He's here on his blue rug and we start building me faux beachfront studio. You can just realize, hey, I can get a good workout. I can see the veins popping out of my arms now. I can see my heart rate's going up to about 100 from 60 or 70. I feel a little bit better. Get, get your butt pumping. Well, I do. T tense your butt. When you tense your butt when you're doing push-ups, you'll find that you keep a stable core. You keep on a stable core. You'll be able to do more push-ups. And keep your filthy gutter talk out of here, Omni Hug. I see what you're getting at. But I love you anyway, brother. Each to their own. I like the banter. Freshens it up. We're all different. I am at almost 22 minutes. I'm going to do 20 more push-ups and get out of here. And... Uh, Hopefully I have an earlier one. Hopefully I have an earlier one where I don't get attacked by a uh, a red dog in the middle of my sleep. What's of wov back at you, Omni Hug? You've been around for a long time now, and I respect that a lot. Like I said, not for your engagement, but just hopefully because you're going to be doing some exercise with me and uh, improving your life because I would not be doing this if I didn't think it would have some improvement on your life over time. Because it does. Makes you feel better. It makes you strong. Makes you strong like Russian bear. A Siberian tiger. Ah. <sighs> It should make me sleep better as well. <laughs> and I think my tendons are healing, which means I'm going to go back rock climbing. Keith's just looking out for you. He is indeed. I wish you could do it quietly, though. But my neighbor is a SAS guy. And the other night at 12.30 when my cousin had come up, I hear bashing on my door on 12.30, 12.30 in the morning. And normally I look and see my dog and if my dog's still lying on the bed, it means that that was in my head and in a dream and there was no bashing because the dog didn't respond. But both the dogs took off, off the bed and were barking at the door. So I went to the door and there's this giant of a man standing in the door. Now, I dead latched my door so I couldn't open it. And he's like, hey, Dave. And I'm like, oh, funnily enough, this guy's name is Jared. So very easy to remember your mnemonic when you've got Jazza as somebody who's been training with you and living with you for decades. And I was tired fumbling for the key. He's like, don't worry. Your, door's, your garage door's been open for the two nights straight. So I went out in the garage door with the garage clicker and shook his hand and said, oh man, thank you so much. Like, it's quite easy to get robbed up here. Closed the garage door and then lay there all night paranoid. I can only imagine what it would be like <laughs> to be a villager and having that guy come and bash on your door to ask for your identification papers and made me realize that I'd be a terrible soldier. But I'm glad that people like that are there to do it. 
Anyway, folks, don't leave your garage door open and don't mess, mess with the SAS. <laughs> Thank you, Jared. Shout out to Jared, my neighbor. He's got all those targets hanging up in his garage, you know, the silhouettes where you see the people holding the guns and they've all got holes through them. And he's massive, like I said. I'm glad he was on my side and that my 1960s Beetle and dirt bike were intact. Gonna give you another 10, folks, and let's get out of here. Love you as always. Thanks for joining me on Start Building Me. Like I say, as always, I'm doing it for you, folks. Once you start realizing that consistency is power, that you'll get more self-esteem, you'll lose weight, you'll get stronger, everything improves from exercise. That's why I'm here with my autistic screeching like a dork, with my matching logo on my t-shirt, with my superimposed start building me because it improves your life. Love you as always, folks. If you haven't liked and subscribed, like and subscribe. Come hang out from time to time and pump some iron. Have a good night.